Hello, everyone. I'm glad to see you in the online conference. My name is Zheng Bo. I'm in Northwestern Polytechnic University in China. I'd like to introduce my paper, a novel adaptive hollow mechanism based geographic routing protocol for finance to all of you. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Zheng Bo. I'm a postdoctor in College of Electronics and Information, Northwestern Polytechnic University in China. My research interests include wireless mobile ad hoc networks, flying ad hoc networks, and airborne networks. Okay, let's begin our research presentation. First of all, let me introduce our research background. As we know, FANET is the abbreviation of Flying Ad Hoc Network. It is a research hotspot on communication and network recent years and attracts much attention. It has the following characteristics, such as distributed network. It is, a, it is a special type of mainnet. It has sparse nodes. It is a centric distributed. It has multiple traffic types, such as data, image, video, and so on. It has different QoS requirement for different services. It has low latency and high reliability requirement for transmission of time-sensitive information. As we can see from the picture, the ground station can send information to any UAV through a multi-hop route, which is shown by the red line. Next, let's discuss the ability, reliability for finite. Its mainly networking capability includes supporting a large-scale UAV network, distributed, eccentric, and dynamic access, high transmission rate, low latency, high reliability, and uh, a strict QoS guarantee capability for multiple priority services. Its corresponding technical requirements has 50 to 200 nodes, a distributed, eccentric, and dynamically extensible network. Its transmission rate is higher than 2 Mbps. The end-to-end -end latency of the highest priority service is less than 2 milliseconds. The successful packet delivery rate of the highest priority service can reach 99%, and it has diff differentiated services for multi-priority services. As we know, routing protocol is one of the most important technologies in finance. It is an important part of the protocol stack in finite. It determines the route of the information from source node to destination node. It directly affects the network performance, such as throughput, packet successful transmission rate, and end-to-end -end delay. As an important technology, 
routing protocol has been widely studied, as we can see from the picture. The existing routing protocol for finance can be divided into three types. They are topology-based routing, geographic routing, and DTN-based routing, respectively. The topology-based routing includes reactive routing, proactive routing, and hybrid routing. The following are the representatives of each type. In these routing protocols, the geographic routing is very interesting. It can deliver information only through the positions of each node by GPS or other position devices. It is widely used in finance. In our paper, we focus on geographic routing. We can see from the block diagram. In geographic routing, neighbor table is used to store the information of neighbor nodes for each node. It sends information to next hop node through its neighbor table. In mobile environment, the neighbor table is maintained by the hello mechanism. Each node sends a hello information periodically to all its neighbors to inform their positions and other information. And its neighbor nodes store the information in their neighbor table to determine their next hop node when delivering data. Therefore, we concern the hello mechanism in geographic routing. The traditional geographic routing protocols, such as GPSR, has an has a periodic hello mechanism, which means that the node sends the hello information on a fixed time without considering the mobile scenarios. It has the following drawbacks. The first one is that in the mobile scenario, fixed period hello mechanism will bring out temporary communication blindness problem and will cause massive data packets loss. The second is that the reception and the processing of hollow packets consumes energy, which is wasteful in idle nodes. The third one is that hollow packets may collide with data packets. Therefore, we are motivated to improve the hollow mechanism in geographic routing protocol. As we talked about just now, the period hollow mechanism will bring out the temporary communication blindness problem. As we can see from the picture, the node J is a neighbor node of node I. When node J moves out of the transmission range of node I, I is still not a node situation and will continue to send information to J. But the information will be lost. The TCB problem is caused by high node dynamics, long hollow period, and short node transmission range. According to the above analysis, 
we are motivated to improve the hollow, the fixed hollow mechanism to an adaptive hollow mechanism. The adaptive mechanism mainly considers the mobility of nodes in finite for a node which is sending packets. The hollow period is calculated according to the real-time relative characteristic values of motion between the node and its upstream node. OK, next, let's briefly introduce our adaptive hollow mechanism, as can be seen from the right picture. There are two nodes, node I and node J. We mainly study and model their motions. First, we define the characteristic value of the relative motion between the two nodes. Next, we can derive the condition that node J moves out from the transmission range of node I after delta T is that delta T should satisfy the equation. However, here, delta T is defined as the hollow period of the hollow mechanism. We define P0 is the threshold of departure probability that node J leaves the transmission range of node I according to a certain value of P0, we can calculate the, var the variable hollow period delta T mainly according to this equation. This is the flow chart of the adaptive hollow mechanism. Nodes in finites should be differentiated as work nodes or idle nodes. For work node, it, calculate, it calculates hollow period according to the characteristic value relative to its upstream node. For an idle node, it calculates hollow period according to the characteristic value relative to all of its neighbor nodes. Then they send hollow packets according to their adaptive hollow mechanism. This is the main core idea of the of the adaptive hollow mechanism. Next, we will verify the performance of our proposed adaptive hollow mechanism by simulations, we compare the traditional geographic routing protocol GPSR with our proposed protocol. We name the GPSR with the adaptive hollow mechanism as AGGR. The, the many simulation parameters are shown in the following table. Instant throughput of GPSR and AGGR protocol under different node velocity is shown in these figures. As can be seen, GPSR protocol using the periodic hollow mechanism causes the TCB problem with the increase of node velocity, the network dynamics increases, and the packet loss caused by TCB becomes more serious. However, the AGGR protocol using the AHM reduces TCB respectively and gets a high instant throughput.
deliver delivery success success ratio, control overhead, average throughput and uh, transmission delay of GPSR and AGGR protocol are shown in the four figures respectively. As can be seen, the performance of AGGR is better than GPSR. Okay, let's conclude our work. In order to address the TCB problem in geographic routing protocols, a novel AHM is proposed for finance. It divides all nodes into working nodes and idle nodes, and the nodes in different states adopt different methods for the hello period. It can eliminate eliminate the drawbacks of the periodic hollow scheme and gain a high packet successful transmission rate without causing more routing overhead. It improves the accuracy and real-time performance of the neighbor table, provides a reliable basis for geographic routing protocols, and is scalable and applicable to finance. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.